studying so much prep, and I'm sure it's kind of mind-numbing, especially at this point of the year, you know, 20 weeks of the year yeah. after training camp. Does it make it easier when you know that you're learning stuff each time and that it actually does become relevant? Yeah, and I think uh, what makes it easier is from the beginning, he sets the standard of you understanding all 11 positions out there so that by this point, you know, I'm in year three of his offense, uh, and from the very beginning, we've been talking about everyone's roles that when he puts in a new installation where I'm in a spot that maybe I haven't been before, I've heard him talk about it to another guy. Yeah. So it's not completely new. Great, thank you. It's been noted by a few different people that uh, you guys have run more 21 personnel than any other team in the yeah. NFL. I, I was talking to Tim Murphy, I said, Robert. And yeah. He said uh, to him it looks more like 12 personnel. Do you, <laughs> do you draw a difference between the two or a distinction between the two? No, not really. And I'm sure he says it because I was a tight end yeah. when I was at Harvard. So. Um, and he was the, my tight end coach and head coach. So, uh, but no, I mean, it's really, it's the same thing I really did in college. I played H back, which yeah. is you know a tight end and and a fullback. Right. What um, what do you ever get to the end of a game where you you know been out there for like 50 snaps and haven't touched the ball and feel like unfulfilled in any sort of way? No, because usually we've won that game. Okay. I, I can't think of a game where I've had that many snaps and not touched the ball and we're losing. What, uh, what do you feel like, is there something in your background that you feel like prepared you for playing the role that you play now? Say it again. Is there anything in your background, like whether it's high school or growing up in Iowa, anything that prepared you for playing the role? Yeah, no question. Um, my, literally my whole life I've played multiple positions in, in the offense. Um, you know, starting in high school, uh, I played every skill position. And then in college, Tim Murphy asked me to play so many different positions in that as well. Um, so really having done that my entire life, just made it more natural when I came here, and Kyle does the same thing where he kind of lines me up everywhere. I just got to ask, I noticed the Embrace the Suck sign up there. Can you explain that, or what can you kind of share with us about what that means in the soccer room? Yeah, that goes back um, in the off season when we were working with the Navy SEALs. And, you know, when things are tough, when you're really grinding, you're putting in the work, um, it's just focusing on the positive part of it. Just embrace the suck. No that those tough times are what's going to make you better. So just you might as well just embrace it and know that you're getting better if it is that hard. How is it to go through the adversity you guys face in the first couple of years under Kyle and then to make it to this level? What does that say about how you guys embrace the suck? Yeah, no, it really makes this all so much sweeter. Um, just having gone through what we did and going through those hard times, uh, it just makes you really appreciate what we have now. and you really just know that you earned it and you put in the time to change it uh, and it just makes it that awesome. I have to ask because I was standing right next to your wife when she came up and hugged you as you were going off the oh, field cool. on Sunday. Yeah. Just what is that moment like and how special is that to share that moment with them? It's extremely special. Um, you know, she's been through it with me. She, you know, every step of the way, she's had to embrace the suck as well. Um, you know, you're not always in the best mood when you, you're coming home in a season that you're 6-10 and 10 and 4-12. and 12, uh, And she's been a huge supporter throughout that process. Uh, so she feels everything that I feel. Uh, so to be able to share that with her after the game, it, it was incredible. Thank you, Kyle. Yeah.